This is part two of my flow video. And before we learned about these two things. Now there are two new things that I want to talk about. The two old things are that um, when you're looking to output something, you want to look for someone who wants what you have and not try to give it to someone who's not looking for this thing giving it in the wrong direction, the wrong way, to the wrong person, whatever. You want to find someone, you want to wander around and find someone who actually wants what you have to offer. So, you know, timing and direction of where you're putting your efforts out there. And the same thing is when you're looking for something and you want to get something, you know, you wander around, you don't try to get it from someone who isn't offering it. You know, you wander around and you find someone who actually has what you want to want to get, right? So now the second stuff is when you're done getting the inputs and getting the outputs that you, you want to give and receive, and you actually want to do something new. And now there are two ways of doing this, and this is the more flowy part of the go with the flow kind of stuff. Once you've filled up on the good stuff and given away the good stuff, you can make something new. And for this, there are two ways of doing it. One way is that you wander around and you find someone who's going in the same direction as you and wants to make, wants to do something that you can help them do. You know, so you have the same kinds of resources, you've done what they've done before, or you know how to do it, or you think you know how to do it and you want to help them out. Or you just want to give them support. So, you know, it could be emotional support or you know, material support or whatever, you know, you want to support them. And so you kind of, you know, you nourish them, you, you nurture them, you help them, you help them do what they want to do, right? You know, that's, that's the sort of playful collaboration, playful helpfulness that, you know, you find someone to help, to do something cool with. And then there's the super fancy thing where you're focused on both what you and someone else is doing and you find a way to collaborate with them in a creative way, in a new way that actually creates something that's never existed before. So in this case, you don't want to find someone going in the same direction. You want to find someone going in a sort of per perpendicular direction, um, if that makes any sense, sort of metaphorically, you know. You want to find someone who's going at a little bit different direction, but not totally different direction. You know, you don't want to find someone who's going the opposite direction, but you don't want to go find someone who's going the same direction. You want to find someone who's got a different approach, but is sort of heading in the same way. And in this case, you have a sort of symbiotic relationship. You both you both are offering something that the other one doesn't have, but you're, you're building something new. And so this is the creative effort. And so you're not just going this direction, you're not just going that direction. You're going this new direction, which is sort of an up direction. And this builds a platform for a new kind of creation. So something else can just appear. And this is what we call emergent, emergent behavior, um, where something that never existed before comes about. And that's from a collaborative flow process where you're paying attention to not only what you're outputting, but you're paying attention to what someone else is outputting and how it fits in to what you're outputting. And then you can sort of tailor it a little bit and find the, the nice middle and go in a totally new direction and build something creative and awesome that you can give out to the world. And that's the like expert level flow. And that's where our brains are firing on all cylinders. They do brain scans and they show that the whole of the brain is lighting up in activity when you're in this flow state when you're doing something, you're working with someone else. And it doesn't have to be a human. I mean, this can be animal, vegetable, mineral, any other individual thing. You could be working with a car. You could be working with a cat. You could be working with a computer. You could be working with Craig or Cynthia. 
you can be working with anything else and you're collaborating and, and using whatever they have in a symbiotic way. And that's the flow state. That's the, the purest form of flow state. All the others lead up to the flow state, but this is like the peak flow state where you're having the best time personally and someone else is also personally at their best. Some other individual, animal, vegetable, mineral is, is functioning at their best. And then something awesome happens. So yeah, if you're interested in Talking more about this or finding out more, um, do watch the first video too also, if you haven't already watched it. Um, and you can find me on my blog, which is uh, turl.org, T-U-R-I-L dot O-R-G. That's my blog with podcasts and I usually put my videos there too. So if you want to check out more, please do so. Ah, other than that, I wish you well in going with the flow of finding the individual's in your surroundings who have something to offer that you want to offer, that you need, have something that you need, that you want, or have some way that you can collaborate and play and create something new with them. Okay, take care. Namaste.